Part 2 opens with an example showing the need for matrix methods to represent summations and to solve a set of three simultaneous equations in three unknowns. That's the type of situation you would face in satellite navigation if you didn't have the added complication of time synchronization. To include that, the most common form of GPS navigation correction involves a 4x4 matrix instead of a 3x3. Since matrices facilitate handling a system that small, they become essential for much larger sets of equations, and in fact differential equations, with many more unknowns. The example described in Part 1 had 24 constants of integration. Without matrices, it would have been intractable. Immediately, then, we can justify plunging into building blocks that will give you tools both powerful and versatile. The theory begins with basic definitions and concepts, square and rectangular matrices, partitioning, identity and null matrices, diagonal matrices, rank, inner and outer products, matrix inversion, transpose, matrix addition and multiplication, properties of matrix products, from those basic concepts, Part 2 then proceeds to more operations, diagonalization, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, differentiation, and specific matrix forms, orthogonal matrices, for example, direction cosine transformations, and symmetric matrices, for example, the inertia tensor or a covariance matrix. Physical examples are then interpreted for properties that will provide you with insight that will later facilitate reduction of a very complicated system to components with basic forms like powers of time and or trigonometric functions that may or may not increase or decrease exponentially.